and then uh, we can have a look uh, as we speak. Yeah. Yeah. It's very exciting, this huge open printed floor. On top of that, there's a rebuild of art historical painting, St. Jerome's study. It's the actual study within that painting. It's a painting by Antonella da Messina. It stands for contemplation, mm -hmm. maybe for the kind of enlightened person, like for literature, the good things in life, the, the <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. kind of uh, high-minded uh, high culture. culture. But you're in the same time opposing it with um, a completely different uh, type of work, uh, the Hellmouth, which mm -hmm. is more the hellish mm -hmm. part mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. uh, of life. They're almost a on a par for me, the, the, the contemplative intellectual or the contemplative educated, but also the raw passion of, and there's this fantastic text that I'm really indebted to and love, which is the Rabelais and his world by Michael Bakpin, and that analysis of humour and his documenting medieval revelry and dare I say it like rolling on the floor farting uh, carnival where being human in a base way was not thought of as um, something that you had to exclude from culture and society for example why does a certain level hang on dragon <laughs> It's the medieval back tin yeah. demonstration <laughs> of the Bruegel carnivalesque. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so, if our museums are allowing the radical laughter and the, the spontaneity and um, joy to have s some space within the, the, the smorgasbord of culture um, and the authorities allowing that, that's great. Do you uh, keep in mind what will be left uh, after the performance? Yeah, that's because a really good question. Performance is, of course, a very intense and mm. present uh, experience for the audience. As you mature as an artist and you become more self-conscious about what you're doing, I was looking and analysing the art um, from, the, obviously, the Dada movement, and there's also Jodorowsky and the mm -hmm. group called Panic and some other groups that I've obviously definitely been, like, drawn to and know that they're my, mm -hmm. like, same type. You analyse whether they've dominated the live moment or whether they've allowed the documentation to dominate. And I think that I would genuinely say that I am disappointed as, a, as the more mature I become by the art that dominates the impact afterwards. The, the art that I'm really excited by is the art that makes the sacrifice for the live moment that you maybe never ever can hold on to afterwards. Rather than becoming a filmmaker yeah. and making the action to the ca for the camera, mm -hmm. I would always choose to give my energy and sacrifice it to the live moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You see a, a development, I would say, in which you um, slowly start to integrate the remnants of performance into a yes. painterly context. Yes, I think you're talking about the, what I call the panel painting. Yeah, that's right. If yeah. I was to have made them 15 years ago, I think they would be unacceptable personally because they're too, they'd be too artificially, you know, this is the object and this is the surface and I'm yeah. going to attach it. So I, I feel now, oddly, that those panels are excellent platform to be experimenting within. I really feel now I can have the gravitas to deal yeah. with it. Yeah. This is actually um, a, a painting, a panel, yeah. uh, that includes pieces that have been used in a performance in Basel, I think. It yes, was. It, it was inspired by a film called Catwoman, and we made an installation. And what we were trying hard to do was to see how the performance could, could transfer to becoming a commodity or a, how do you say, like a 
exhibitable package after it, after okay. the live moment. Yeah. So it was a really, it was a big effort to try this experiment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then you decided to put them on a kind of a, a, a support or. Right. Yes. So then I realized if I contain it within a wooden mm -hmm. panel of a certain proportion, mm -hmm. it would be a containable object. And that has been a huge success, interestingly. So here we are in a, a room full of bats in many different forms and yes. constellations. Like yes. Groups, swarms, individual bats. Mm -hmm. I love bats, obviously, and I can talk quite positively about them. I could say foolish things and happily explain that they're like little eco-warriors, endlessly looking a bit like they're appearing on album covers in sort of dramatic poses. Mm -hmm. So they're a lot of fun. And then on another level, they are quite wistfully, romantically um, escapist the painting so if I only did the performances I would be very drained and then I worked out that if I was to do some quiet more self-contained work it was an incredibly good balance and so I was trying to literally work out how to be expressive and enjoy being part of society <laughs> and then also to cope with my like more quiet um, need to express yourself <laughs> <laughs> Who's to say she's not? You use these um, strategies, so to say. You mm, use mm -hmm. them to bring also certain ideas to the fore, mm -hmm. like yes, environmental yes, social yes, issues yes, uh, yes. that are really prominent in uh, what you do. It does come from so certain angry rea reactions or some sort of like political um, starting point, mm -hmm. but not normally so overtly. It comes quite covertly. It's yeah. like, I'm not talking about taking on Brexit and wanting to do a mime about Brexit. It's more that I will look at free trade from the 1800s or that there'll be a, it's a more um, oblique or it's subtle entrance. Yeah. 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 And how do you go about uh, with instructing your uh, performers when you uh, start a performance? Do mm. you really bring that to yes, their minds Yes, I do. Minds Absolutely, also? yeah. The exact starting point will be through me saying that I've understood. I've become like empowered by watching a documentary or something that's really been incredibly informative and helpful. And then I'll discuss this concept mm -hmm. and I'll say how annoyed I feel about it or how what I would like to sell I'd like to celebrate that aspect and it's not that they totally trust me and do whatever I say it's more that I have to explain myself then they willingly bring their energy in yeah yeah Where do I see myself in performance tradition? I think I would very quickly um, say I like the Futurist cookbook. I like um, the, a lot of the Dada um, uh, events and I like the happenings of the 1970s. I also like, before that, um, early Christian plays and in British culture you call mumming. It's like, it's basically uh, folk plays um, where communities mime and act various well-known stories that everyone already knows, but you enjoy like the... Canterbury um, Tales or things like that? I love the Canterbury yeah, Tales, yeah. absolutely. I love the Pasolini film mm -hmm. of the Canterbury Tales. I love reading Chaucer. I would say high-end high as well as popular culture. It's uh, definitely a lot to do with gesture. I do feel that there's a visual language and a body language where most people do seem to understand. But having said that, I really have been rejected by various individuals in audiences who think what I do is completely rubbish, abysmal rubbish. I would understand that I'm not pleasing everyone at all. I completely understand that. It's more, it's more an experiment to see if you can disarm and entice an audience into joining, feeling like they're joining in. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
on his hand. Five more, stop! And the work which critiques these things and celebrates these things at the same time. Get up and buy something! <laughs> Peter Pan, Elvis Presley, Disneyland, Bardo Budapest.